Hello everyone, day two, March Madness. Just got home from work, drove four and a half hours to get home. I got packages here that came in. That's a video in itself. Got my clothes changed, got my computer work done. Let's see what came in my P.O. box. Okay, so this video is special to me. Why? Because I told you if you sent me mail to my P.O. box that I would open these up read them on air and check them out and you would have loved that video they're already open why because as i posted on facebook have you ever recorded an entire video and realized the audio was trashed that's right me you would have loved this this video me and michelle were out by the pool last weekend and we were opening these reading them she even thought this was cool she's like that's so awesome well, unfortunately, the audio is gone. So as Brian says, well, just do another one in voiceover. No, we're going to do it again because it's just as special now as it was when you sent them to me and I opened them the first time. So I'm going to start with the QSL cards. OK, and we're going to read these. I'm going to try to touch on each one of these letters quickly. And if you want to send something, P.O. Box 666, Roseland, Florida, 32957. And no, I did not pick that number for that one comment on that video, the Satan worshiper. Come on, Eric, you had this planned. Man, they gave me this mailbox, come on. Nobody wanted it, pick nothing, okay? I don't care if it's 666, it's just a number to me. I don't believe in all that hocus pocus anyways. Here you go. The two brothers, KQ4DJG from Birmingham, Alabama, and his brother, KQ4DJF. Got their licenses at the exact same time. Pretty cool stuff from Birmingham, Alabama. Looks like they're using a 10 tech here. Maybe they, uh, they got a uh, Yesu FT 2900 maybe, but they wrote a letter in here. We're gonna get the letter here. Actually, let's do it in order here, right? Let's see if I can find the letter from the two brothers. And you know what? We're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna send it, guys. This th again, this video was just, <laughs> and I just got home from driving four and a half hours. Come on, give me a break. So, brothers, thank you so much for sending that. That is so cool, right? Here's another one, Lake Worth, Florida. I'm gonna shut this phone off because I said you're not gonna see me edit anything here. I ain't got time for this. A video a day keeps everybody happy. WS4 BSA, Lake Worth, Florida. Just drove through there today and talk to the guys on Simplex 14652 that I made the video at the West Palm Beach uh, Ham Fest. Talk to them, that Kevin was on there, Ed was on there, Marcos, the club president was on there. We were talking, but uh, Lake Worth, Florida, he says, so your mailbox won't feel lonely. See, people do watch your YouTube channel. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay on the air. Right there, save the date, J-O-T-A, Jamboree on the air, third weekend in October, okay. Will do. Thank you for sending me that QSL card. And my wife says, well, I told my wife, I said, I'm not logging these as contacts because I asked you to send me something and I'm, I'm so happy that I get these cards, right? I'm not gonna ask, and, and I don't collect QSL cards. I collect them for this instance. I don't send QSL cards, I don't receive them. I don't consider this a contact. I consider this a memento, if that makes any sense. Okay, KC1MJM, Massachusetts, United States. You know, why don't I have a QSL card? Why don't I have something cool like this, right? Right here, hope to talk to you on the radio, on my radio someday. Richard, thank you, Richard, for sending me that. That's so awesome, man. Here's another one, Tennessee, K4JBL. Not like the speaker, maybe like the speaker, I'm not sure. Uh, K4JBL. And he says, uh, thanks for your videos. Do one on QSL cards. I love going to my mailbox and getting one. Now I'm gonna tell you something right now. I can't remember what I ate for dinner last night, nor can I remember that I did this video already once and read that, that was new to me. So this is all new to me. So yes, I will do a video on QSL cards because I need one, okay? I don't know why I don't have one. Here's one here. It looks like he's got a Zygu XB125 uh, amplifier. It looks like that's a, and my bird's gonna be squawking, sorry. Um, that's a Yesu there. I'm not sure which one. FTM 400 maybe? F FTM, I'm not sure. And ICOM 705. And this is uh, my shack. Seven threes from C Turner. KF0 FZ, KF0 FZ Victor. There you go. Thank you for sending me that. This one's my favorite. I love this one. My wife even thought this was cool. W4 VTX. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. People get these cool QSL cards and I have nothing to send you, I'm sorry. <laughs> HRC, 
Uh, he sent this on February 13th, 2023. Cure for the P.O. Box Blues. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. So cool. So let's check this out here. Eric, sorry to hear about your P.O. Box Blues. Hope this helps. That's probably from him. Yes, it is. I am a newer ham. When I was setting up, when I was setting up my ICOM 7300 in mid-2020 after I acquired General, I would reference your videos on YouTube. Many times during my initial setting up of the radio, you made it very easy for me. I am sure many others feel the same way. Thanks. So cool, man. Thank you so much for sending that. And, you know, handwritten letters, like Michelle said in the last video you didn't get to see, handwritten letters are awesome. So you get bonus points if you write me a letter because I need to write a handwritten letter. Michelle says, you know, the other day I was reading a handwritten letter and I had to think about it. And then I went to write something. I was like, wow, I can't write cursive anymore. She used to always write cursive. We're in a digital age, guys. This is what happens. Here you go. Another one. Hello, Eric. You asked for some mail, so here you go. I got my technician license last month and I've been enjoying listening to the radio and making a few contacts. Your videos have been super helpful to me. There's so much to learn and I feel that a lot of it goes right over my head. That's okay. You don't have to be an expert, okay? There's so, uh, I turn to you for a layman's explanation. I seem to be able to understand your explanations. And I'm, I am currently running an ICOM 705 with a mag mount antenna on my pickup truck. I listen more than anything. Seems like the range is not as good as I thought it would be. Well, five watts, remember that. We can get into a whole other video on how I work through the world every day in that mobile with my ICOM 7100. But it's five watts. You gotta think about that, okay? I saw your video on the Chameleon MPAS 2.0 and I ended up buying one. So far I looked at it and I put it in a bag that it came with and that's it. What is wrong with me? I feel that there are so many frequencies and bands that I'm not sure how to begin. I would love for you to make a video with a newly licensed green ham like myself and walk them through the use of the ICOM 705 and MPAS 2.0 antenna. Show all the new green hams like me the most popular bands and frequencies so we can unpack that $500 antenna and feel confident using it. P.S. I'm currently studying for my general radio license so I can eventually transmit on HF using ham radio prep thanks to you. You see guys, ham radio prep. Here's my sponsor plug of the day. If you want to get a ham radio license like Scott did, use the code ERIC20 at checkout at ham radio prep on any course you buy, you save 20%. This is not a scam. It's in a letter and there's thousands of people, I see the numbers from ham radio prep, they are thousands and thousands of people that have used my code. It's time to get a ham radio license and Brian asked me today, what is the hype with this? Why are people getting licenses? You know why? Because people like me and Josh and Jason and everybody keeping this interesting, this is why ham radio is thriving right now, is because of the new radios that the developers are making and the manufacturers, the videos that we put out, I claim a little bit to myself and I give a lot of it to the other YouTubers who are making videos showing you what you can do on Parks on the Air, Summits on the Air, and more. Ham Radio Prep is a great sponsor of mine. Use the code ERIC20, save 20%, links in the description below. Very cool. Thank you, Scott, for that. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, we're not going to read all these today because I don't want to take too much of your time. Okay, that'll give me a video to make tomorrow. Let's see. I'm going to read one more. I'm going to read this one here because <laughs> the dollar popped out. Here you go. Another. <laughs> he puts a dollar here and hand writes, question, why do I keep buying cheap Baofeng radios? Help me. And he throws a buck in. <laughs> I am pinning that on my wall, sir. My bird's laughing as well. So cool. Well, you know what about the cheap Baofeng radios? It's like an addiction. They're so cheap you can get them. A lot of different variants on these. You can use these things, you can drop them, break them. But I got news for you. I'm gonna say this one last time. No, I'm not. I'm gonna say it a lot of times. If it wasn't for a Baofeng radio, this YouTube channel would not exist. Why? I had an e cigarette channel right here. Back in the day, before I started Ham Radio Concepts, um, I had a YouTube channel with about like 9,000 subscribers for e-cigarettes. Now this was a big booming thing. I, I you know, I, 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 uh, I, you know, had e-cigarette companies were sending me stuff every day. It was brand new. Uh, Blue was one of them that I was partnered with and I still vape to this day. So that made me quit smoking cigarettes, but I'm not saying this is healthy. Don't vape. It's not healthy, but one day I ordered a Baofeng radio. This goes back about 12, maybe, uh, 
I've been vaping for way longer than that. Um, goes back to 2012, 11 years ago. Yeah, something like that. And I ordered Baofeng Radio on Amazon from, and I'll never forget it, Nichuan, N-I-C-H-E-O-N-E. -E, and they still are on eBay and Amazon. So I ordered this and two came and I said, wow, this is pretty cool. And I said, there's two in here. I'd like to send you one back. It's a mistake. And he said, no, no, just keep it. It's our mistake. Have fun. And I said, well, wait, why don't I make a video about it? Because I make videos on e-cigarettes. Why don't I make a video on it and show people maybe I could drive them to your site and you could buy, you know, they could buy some and we'll make up for it that way. Do you know that video has like a half a million views to this day? And that's when I started getting Baofeng after Baofeng over and over because they're like, wow, this works. I think that was, I'm going to say this, that was before Jason and Josh ever started doing YouTube videos. Not saying I'm any better. I'm just saying that's how far back this goes. So the question is, why do I keep buying cheap Baofeng radios? If it wasn't for the Baofeng, I couldn't convince a, a 13 year old to get on a ham radio if I told them that they had to buy a $500 radio. You know what I mean? The bottom line is people get Baofeng radios and they work and that's a stepping stone into something bigger. And I'm glad that exists because I don't want to tell you that you have to be rich in all this. I'm not rich. I don't want to tell you that you have to do all this and blah, blah, blah to get it. That Baofeng made this YouTube channel. That Baofeng made a lot of ham radio operators to get their license because it was a $28 radio. So why do you keep buying Baofeng radios? Why not? You know? What I do and what I think you should do, help me, this is anonymous, what I think you should do is give some of them away when you're done with them. When you see a new kid or a new ham or even, a, I'll say this, an old timer who wants to get their ham radio license or his wife, say, hey, listen, you get this license, I'm going to give you this radio. It's an incentive to get a license. That's why I do these YouTube videos is to get people on the air. Thanks to Ham Radio Prep for making it easy for them to get a license in a week's time. Pixie got all three of her licenses, Tech, General, and Extra, in one week flat. So keep buying bow things. And I'm going to stop here because, man, I'm tired. I'm tired. This is video for tomorrow. Actually, no. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you what I have tomorrow. I'm going to grab the camera right now. Here's tomorrow's video right here. Okay. <laughs> this is a radio. I bought it on eBay for $30 and it helps me remember my dad. Dad, I finally got one. It's in this box because you told me all the time, man, you got to get this. Man, I remember my, well, we're going to find out what it is tomorrow right here on Ham Radio Concepts. 7-3 everyone. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com.